everyone. I'm just outside Matlock in a place called Bonsall. I'm just by the main road here. I'm with Nikita and with Phil. And what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look for the Bonsall Lees lead mines, which are on the top of this ridge. But on the way, there's a smaller lead mine that people don't know so much about called Dunsley Springs. Am I saying that right, yep, Phil? Yep. Dunsley Springs. So we're going to try and actually find that one on the way. Loads of remains at the top there, lots of history, and hopefully we'll be able to get in Dunsley Springs as well. stop meeting like this and then I'll buy the fifth time it's just all that cool. cable car there right it's uh, it's from the Heights of Abraham which is um, just over the the ridge there in Matlock during lockdowns right I came driving up here to get in the countryside as much as I could obviously and it was quite early in the morning so it was you know the Sun was coming up so it's quite dark and inside that cable car right they had a mannequin dressed up with a mask on and goggles and all sorts so it was absolutely terrifying all right, so we're clambering up. It's not quite the trodden path that I thought it was, to be honest. So we're quite a way above the road now. Then when we get to the top, there are a lot of remains of these Bonsall Lees lead mines. But like I say, on the way, whoa! He saved himself in his Ghostbusters outfit. Um, yeah, on the way, there is a, 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 a lead mine that's a lot less known and, and therefore kind of mapped and stuff so we'll see what we can do so there was lead mining in this area of derbyshire from around about the 1540s and these were known as the white low mines now obviously it's bonsall but it was known then as the white low mines and these this bonsall mine at the top there was mined right up until you know the 40s and 50s so they had an unbelievably long life um, it's strange that they didn't exhaust it sooner, to be honest, but obviously there must be so much lead down here. Um, oh, I'm out of breath now. I'm showing my fitness levels, or lack thereof. And my nose is running, and my ardac keeps falling off. But apart from that, it's going well. Okay, I found it. So this will be the Dunsley Springs lead mine, then this one. Just spotted as well. Let's just see through there, through the trees. There's another. I ain't climbing through that though. Well, I wouldn't fit, would I feel? Let's have it right. You want to take footage of this T6? I'm going to have to amend it because you found it. That should fit Gareth. There you go, yeah. I found this one. It's normally Phil that discovers stuff, but I'll take a rare win. Okay. okay. Like that. Torches. Right, Phil's the canary down the mine. Literally. Child's oh, child's play, he says. Well, that's 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 me. That's it. It's actually really warm in here as well. Um, which, these, these mines are really not normally warm. Whoa, whoa, what's happening here? Uh, what have you spotted, Phil? Uh, I thought this was going to be a mega hole. Uh, it might be still. No, it's not. Careful, mate. Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's a passing place. No, I think it's been filled in. Look. Quite possibly. It's very warm. Man. It's very warm. The camera just steamed up then. I had to clear it. Must not have film. Yeah. Right here, chaps. Formation. So this, uh, this goes about 370 meters, is it? Well, I'm not taking. I'm not going in that far. That's just I'm madness. But about 370 meters inland, um, and we are getting into some serious water now. Steam Let me try and do that camera again because it's um it keeps steaming up. Yeah. What have you spotted? Look at this. This is formed from running water. Oh yeah. How many years? Calcified. Yeah. Wow. Maybe shower if you did. Try and protect the camera there. Not so bothered about myself. It is um it is crazy how warm it is down here. Um. So the camera keeps steaming up, so I apologise for that. I keep trying to clean it, but um, this uh, this goes down around about 30 metres, I think. So you're kind of constantly walking down. So it's a nice uphill walk back. Um, 
Um, but it looks like that there's very little sort of mining activity at the moment in terms of um, you know pickaxing out lead. So I think like when we went down Good Luck Mine, you know they had to work for meters and meters and meters before they even found the lead. So you're talking years actually in terms of how long it takes to to get this far in with no you know no reward up until that point. This has got to open out into something. It's got to, hasn't it? Yeah. Shopping centre. Right, I'm, I keep nearly losing my hard hat. I've tried to wear a woolly hat and keep my head warm and a hard hat and that's not flying. Here we go. Phil's just stomping on ahead. No messing about. The, well, oh, there we go. There's some not, marks. I wouldn't say claw marks, but I'd be frightened if it were claw marks. It'd <laughs> be terrifying, Phil. Is it, is it? How many hundreds of years yeah. ago? Were they scraping away at that? Incredible, incredible. And here as well, look. You know what this one seems to be a lot easier underfoot than that good look mine. Seems nice underfoot, doesn't it? Yeah. Seem like famous last words, these. Right, so there's a rock fall then. So that's the end of the line on this one. And uh, these look somewhat precarious at the top. So we're gonna turn back and head up to these Bonsall Lees mines, which are on the top. Oh, right. Well, we got in here. That's an achievement. So we're clambering out now. So we found um, Dunsley Springs then. So that's a bit of a touch. Obviously the rock falls kind of done us and it was, uh, I've lost my hard at. It was looking a bit, sorry mate, that come back and hit you. No. It was looking a bit precarious. So we've knocked that on the head. Um, so we're going to carry on up the hill now to Bonsall Lees mines, where there's loads and loads of remains, which is going to be really, really interesting. So, um, oh, mate, it's nice to have some fresh air, isn't it? Whew. Beautiful sunshine. Okay, the sky's going a little bit crazy. So we're going to clamber over here. We're now going to be above, we're going to be above mine workings now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're above ground. I feel a lot safer above ground. I don't know about you, Nikita. Yeah. It's just trying to find these remains now. Okay, so we're on the top now, and it's basically watch where you put your feet because there are, I don't know how many um, lead mine workings, but tons and tons and tons. So it's a case of just keeping our eyes peeled around this field because Bonsall Lee's mine was actually not one mine, it was a series of mines and I can see one here. Yeah. There you go. How deep is that? Let's have a look. We might have to have a... Yeah, you've got your torch on the go. Oh, I'm not standing on it. I'm not that trusting. Uh, it's not that deep actually. Is it not? No, but it's narrow. So people are going down there. Oh, I don't know, I know it's going down. Yeah. You've got other, other piles of rocks around as well, which you don't know if they're sealing um, mine shafts. Okay, let's keep walking. So one there on the top there, let's have a look at that one. Oh, oh thank goodness it's so cold that actually it's, it's frozen the, uh, the ground, because it's, I imagine it would be ridiculously squelchy. If not, right, let me get to a high point so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, that feels soft underfoot there. Like there's actually a shaft there. Yeah, but there's a rock on top of it. Yeah, it's all right. There's so much disturbed. <laughs> yeah, here. it's look, all this right. Has all been, this has all been mine, hasn't it? Bob? Yeah, look, here's another one there, look. Just these, uh, these are all old mine shafts. There's another one there. This is crazy. Don't tell me wife. Here's another one here. This is collapsed in. You can see they've they sealed that off and it's collapsed in. Oh mate. Yeah look. So they've had these over the top to seal that. No idea how deep they're going, but I'm imagining probably hundreds of feet. Would you say what hundreds of feet deep? Yeah, but I mean that, is it just a few feet? Is it? Well it's collapsed. But they've filled it in again. You can see there's rocks there. Yeah. So this is basically a field full of sheep that was once part of this huge lead workings that started being worked in around about the 1540s. Now, there's very little kind of facts you can find out about this kind of stuff historically. But they say a lot of them that it's, they stopped working this area in the 1900s. But 
I know there's cranes up here with dates going into the 50s on them, so I'm not sure that's true. Have you got your torch, Nikita? Yeah, I've got a torch in my hand. This is a real scary one. This is amazing. Go on I can't then, believe Phil. I dug this. Go on then. I know how camera's going to pick this up. Let's give it a go. But Do you want to take hold of it? I'll take hold of this. Let me wrap it around my wrist, because we don't want any accidents. We nah, my wife filming. bought me that, yeah. Let me just, I can't get it around my wrist. Right. right, that's it. We might struggle to focus here, but Whoa. how far deep are we going? Have we got to talk? Oh my goodness me! Yeah, that's deep. That's mental. That's mental. You don't want to fall down that. No. Whoa. In fact, you wouldn't. If you fell down that, you'd just stay upright because it's so narrow. We right. We are leaning our weight on that. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, but it's concrete. But again, it's sort of started to blur the camera because there, there is heat coming out of these. Feel it. Feel it. There is heat coming out. Here's another one. Oh yeah, go on. Let's do this test with a stone. Right, stone that, test. Let's try and get this right. It. If it'll fit in, that is. It. That's not going to fit in there, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Here we go. Stone test. It. I'll see if I can aim it. Right. Here we go. No, it, it, I think it's because it's some sludge, so it's not made a noise. Not made a sound at the bottom. No, but it's deep. I think f there was a story that farmers, in general, because I know that my brother-in-law knows of it, they used to just throw everything down it, even really? dead cattle. Really? Because why would you go and pay to have a, you know slaughter uh, cattle if you find dead shit? They just throw them down. So there's you don't know what's down here, you know. Jeez. I bet, I bet there's anything and everything. Wow, I mean it's a beautiful location with, with the sun as well, it's, it is amazing but you have to really watch where you're walking because, you know, that's insane. So we're having a little bit of a hunt around now trying to find these cranes because obviously you've got these, these lead workings and then, you know, at first they were just lads um, having individual, individual workings, you know, using a pickaxe but then by the end they had these, uh, these cranes and there are some here where they were bringing up the lead from far below. It's just a case now, I'm trying to find them. Another one there, I don't want to put my foot on that too much, but there's another deep, deep shaft down there. The whole place is just like, <laughs> wow, that was quite the jump there. <laughs> Given the size of it, I'm, I'm guessing that would have been a real, like a big shaft, I reckon. Like it, yeah. Don't laugh. Like Phil was making a really good point then, like there doesn't seem to be any order to it. I mean, maybe there was or maybe there wasn't, maybe they just took a punt, but they just tend to be like sporadic holes basically, like all over the shop, um, as opposed to having some kind of organized working of actually we found a seam here, right, let's do it in this order. Because they're not, it's not structured at all, unless basically the whole area is led. So it's just a case of, you know, stick it where you like, I don't know. Every 10 or 20 feet it is, yeah. Maybe even more than that. It's and it goes on and on. You can see. Look at this. These are all. These are all lead workings. Every single little little hill. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not die today. They filled in below it by the look of it. Or maybe that middle one. Can you see down there? Yeah. Uh, this one's. It, it's, yeah. It's a funny shaped one. Actually, when you get down the bottom, that one goes into like a rectangle shape. Does it? Yeah. If you fell down there and you were very lucky, you'd put your hands out, you might just stop your fall, but I ain't testing it. No, that's not. Phil's found a sleeper. It was the one thing we were missing. Well, there were sleepers on top of the shafts, but this is a better view. Look, oh, mate, it's got the, a chair on it. But I think this could have been that the... Because the, they had cranes here, didn't they, somewhere? Yeah. So maybe the cranes ran up and down on a tra trackway above these rakes, and maybe these ran along, you know, maybe because there's a lot of them, isn't they? Yeah. They're everywhere. I yeah. what they are. I just need to find the damn cranes now. Yeah. So we're trying to find the cranes. Earlier I was saying how these holes basically look just dead random. So then we sent the drone up to try and find the cranes, which we didn't find them, so we're gonna have to hunt on foot. And actually they're they're completely coordinated <laughs> in these in these straight lines with with shafts all, all lined up. So the bit behind us where we first looked, that's all over the shop. So then I'm guessing they've found a, a, a more organised place. Um, so we're going to head over that way, hoping that's where these these cranes are going to be. So there you go. I mean, the goodness knows how deep these are going. Phil nearly went. How deep's that go, mate? Well, they threw the farmers through a pallet. Oh, mate! 
<laughs> wow. No way. So yeah, the key's going a lot. So yeah, it's collapsed. I bet that it's pallet's leaking. not stopping any of us if we fall down there. That's oh, not doing anything, is it? No. I wish that pallet went there. Then we'd have some amazing footage. <laughs> Oh mate, I bet the farmer had twice as many sheep last week. Might have done, yeah. It's gonna happen, look, look at, you're right, look at, there's another one there, one there, so they are kind of, are they lines? Because I suppose they're following the seam, aren't they? Yeah, they must be. So back there they weren't, it just seemed really random, but these are completely organised, these ones. Look at this, this is where they've been raking, I think. Is that what it's called, raking? That's what it's called, is it? I think so, yeah. But whether this is one or is it natural or what? No, this has been dug out, hasn't it? Yeah, that's been dug out. So why are they digging out? Yeah, all the rakes are all along here, look. So the crane's got to be along here somewhere. Right, let's get hunting. I've never, I've never wanted to see a crane so much. Uh, how far does that go down? Yeah, I can't tell. Bad this oh, Goodness me. So the lead workings are underground. These, these are built then to pull it out. I don't... I mean, there's so many, only so many holes I can show you, really, but... Um, you know, when you look at the footage from the from the air, just to just to kind of underline just how many there are. This whole field is like, like Nikita said a second ago, is literally like it's been bombed. So we've come over into the next field now. We thought that it was probably all confined to that particular field, but it's not. These lead workings come all the way over. If you look right into the distance, you probably won't be able to see it. To be fair, it's a long way. But there's Crouch Monument, and then you've got Cromford down there. You've got Matlock the other side of that, and just to show how cold it still is. Nice frozen pond for you. Lead workings there. These are all lead workings. So as I said at the start, this whole area was known as White Low Mines. And it, it took in all these different lead mines that cover quite a large area, all owned by different people. Um, and then there was a Stanley family that came along. They were a big player. Uh, they owned a series of these mines. Um, where are these cranes? So if in doubt, ask a local. It turns out these cranes are actually part of a fluorite mine, which is basically half fluoride, half calcium, um, that was dug out until the 1950s. Um, which would explain then why they were saying that this um, lead working stopped in the 1900s. That makes sense to us now. So basically we walk around like a, a, a trio of plonkers to try and find these cranes as part of this lead working, and they weren't even part of the lead working. But they are a couple of fields away, so we've, we've spoke to a couple with the dog um, and they've directed us, hopefully, in the right direction, although he did seem more confident than her. So there we go, in the field. The locals weren't lying, were they? Oh, God, I might be a bit, a bit heavy for this, Phil. Oh, oh that was not graceful. Did I do a what, a pre-Christmas weight check? Pre, what is it after? I don't know, I don't want to know the amount I get over Christmas. So here we go, here's more workings then. So as I say, these were all lead workings, it was all lead workings up there, which, uh, which ceased in around about the 1900s, but started in 1540, just mad numbers they are to me. But these ones here, these are from a flora spa working, uh, which I confess I'd never even heard of until today. That's all I know, so comment below if you know anything about about that, but look at this. Oh my goodness. Don't know how deep that goes. That goes pretty deep. There's a hole here, boys, so be careful. And this is just sat on the edge of us. I used to think these were like slip mines, but you said that there was another word you used earlier, Phil, for these. It wasn't slip mine. I remember it now. Yeah. No, no, I got it, and I warned you, right. but you didn't hear the warning, so I'm glad you didn't fall down. So there's another one there. I'm going to skirt around here. What did you say these were called again? Rakes. Rakes, Rakes that's Rakes. it. Rakes. So we're quite away now. We're about three fields, and they're big fields, about three fields away from where we were. So when I looked into uh, Bonsal Lee's uh, mines, it was described as a small mine working. Well, I'd, I'd hate to see a large one then, because it's enormous. There you go, but these are obviously more recent, but very, very old, but... Okay, let's crack it up. See if it still works. So got the keys? Made in London. Made in London? Yeah. Yes, made in London and Grantham, so Lincolnshire. That's not too far from here, that then. <laughs> Nearly went then, Phil. There we go, and then this is the big crane. 
Whoa, whoa, careful, there's another one there as well. You'd be, uh, you'd be a goner if you went down any of them. Amazing. Look at this. That's amazing. So that's dragging out. They filled these in, you see, with a lot of earth. But it would have been dragging out this mineral, I guess. Is it a mineral? It's that Neil. There's a, a, a maker's name on it. Let's see if there's anything else on here. What's it say there? Again, built in Grantham and London. Has it got a year? R. Neil. R. H. Neil and Co. Limited. Doesn't have a year though, unfortunately. It'd be great if it did. To be able to sort of timestamp it, but it doesn't appear to have a year written on it. But there we go, we found the cranes. Yeah. Get in. Hey, it's big crane driving, you know that. Did you really? Yeah. Hey, look at this, it works. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It still does, wow. Wow. Okay. It wants lower and into the pit. Nah, you're right. So that's us, Bonsall Lees Mines, uh, just outside Matlock in Derbyshire. Unbelievable mine workings, weren't they, Phil? Yeah, just absolutely really. incredible. Absolutely enormous, just, you know, holes everywhere. So if you ever do come up here to, to kind of have a little look at it, which I'd recommend because it is beautiful around here, if you just look around just the countryside alone, um, and maybe, you know, for a couple of quid, you get Phil and Nikita as well. Um, but, um, <laughs> but do be careful, though, because, you know, some of these holes you sort of saw at the last minute, didn't you? And oh, it's like, well, goodness me, yeah, yeah the big claps as well. So okay. do be careful. But... Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting. Um, please let us know if there's any walks that you'd like us to do or any explores around you that you like, you know, come check this out. Please do. And we'll see you next time.